first three or four verses here. Show us the sign, Lord, when you are going to come. And we know the Lord has given us a sign. Talking here about this beginning of sorrow. Talking here about this affliction. Talking here about uh, this uh, killing one another. This is the sign. People are looking for the sign. But one thing we know, the sign is this, my friends. When this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the nations, for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So the Lord is going to preach to the people to get them ready, and then the end shall come. And Lord says, Set and call ye upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Matthew 24, 9, I will repeat again. And then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and shall be hated for all, by all nations for my name's sake. John 16, 33 says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation. But be a good cheer. What? I have overcome the world. Pretty simple. I like to read all the simple promise of Jesus, my friends. Simple promise of Jesus. He mentioned this to the disciples. In Christ's object lesson, page 414. So the followers of Christ are to shed light into the darkness of the world. Through the Holy Spirit, God's word is a light as it becomes a transforming power in the life of the receiver. By implanting in their hearts the principle of his word, the Holy Spirit develops in men the attributes of God. The light of his glory, his character, is to shine forth in his followers. Thus they are to glorify God. To lighten the path to the bridegroom's home, to the city of God, to the marriage supper of the Lamb. People are asking when Jesus is going to come. It says here the coming of the bridegroom was at midnight, the darkest hour. When you talk about the darkest hour, it's midnight. Friends, spiritually speaking, midnight here is the day when people has forgotten the words of God, has trampled the words of God. This is midnight. Now we are witnessing this, what's happening in the world today. So the coming of the bridegroom was at midnight. It means the darkest part of the night. Spiritually speaking, that is when God's People and the people of the world began to forget the words of God, trample the words of God, the name of God. That is midnight, my dear friends. And at that time, be ready, the bridegroom is coming. So the coming of Christ will take place in the darkest period of the earth's history. The days of Noah and Lot picture the condition of the world just before the coming of the Son of Man. The scriptures pointing toward this time declare that Satan will work with all power and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness. 2 Thessalonians 2, 9, 10. His working is plainly revealed by the rapidly increasing darkness the multitudinous errors, the rapidly increasing darkness, heresies and delusions of these last days. Not only is Satan leading the world captive, but his deceptions are leavening the professed churches of our Lord Jesus Christ. The great apostasy will develop into darkness, deep as midnight, impenetrable as sackcloth of hair. To God's people, it will be a night of trial, a night of weeping, a night of persecution for the truth's sake. But out of that night of darkness, God's light will shine. 
My dear friends, just be ready. The Lord is coming. It says here that Christ came to teach us how to live. He invited us to learn of him, to be meek and lowly of heart, that we may find our rest unto our soul. Friends, don't ever forget, we are told that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of the world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. But at the same time, we are not alone here. I was reading in the Tsar of Ages. Sometimes we feel that, you know, we are alone. And we don't know what to do. And then the evil, evil angels is everywhere. But my dear friends, fear not. I, I want to read to you the last uh, statement from uh, uh, the spirit of prophecy. The last statement, written in 1893. I read this when I was preparing my sermon about 3 o'clock this morning. And I thought, my, how important it is. It goes like this. Although there are evils existing in the church... I said, my, evil existing in the church. Yeah, there are. It says, and will be until the end of the world. The church in these days is to be the light of the world that is polluted and demoralized by sin. The church, enfeebled and defective, needing to be reproved, warned, and counseled, is the only object upon earth upon which Christ bestows his supreme regard. I want to read again. This. Although there are evils existing in the church, and will be until the end of the world, the church in these last days is to be the light of the world. So, I feel good. The light of the world. That is, even though it is polluted and demoralized by sin. But the church, even though enfeebled and defective, needing to be reproved, warned, and counseled, is the only object upon earth, it's the only object upon earth upon which Christ bestows his supreme regard. This is my prayer for all of you. Let us uh, turn to our church hymnal, open our church hymnal. 430, Joy by and by. Let us sing. Joy, 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 from the joy never die. Joy, 
joy where the joy down at night when the girls get this home pure are the joys they as them many the golden mansions fair Jesus himself does them prepare in the new Jerusalem joy 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 by and by joy 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 never die joy joy for the dread of when the world first get us home shall we pray Heavenly Father, precious Lord, we are so thankful and grateful, Lord, for your promise, for the word of comfort. Oh Lord, we are so thankful to know that you are coming soon to take us home. Oh Lord, give us the joy of waiting for you, Lord. Give us the joy, Lord, to think about New Jerusalem. Give us the joy, Lord of studying your words and patiently waiting. Forgive our sins, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Be seated, please.